expander and gates increase the dynamic range of a signal. If we have an input signal with a certain noise floor and a peak level, we have our starting dynamic range. The expander will bring the noise level down while keeping the peak level untouched. The new dynamic range will be increased. We can better explain how an expander works with a dynamic response graph. This graph represents the output level versus the input level. The input level is represented on the horizontal axis while the output level is represented in the vertical axis. The diagonal line represents a unity gain device where at any input level, the output will have the exact same level. The threshold determines at what level the expander will start affecting the input signal. This level is user defined. At a ratio of 1 to 1, the expander output will be the same as the input. At any level below the threshold, the output will have the same level. So the dynamic range is not being altered at all. If we increase the ratio to 2 to 1, we see the signal being reduced below the threshold. We are increasing our dynamic range. The amount of gate reduction is determined by this ratio. A ratio of 2 to 1 means that for every dB below the threshold, the output level will be 2 dB below that threshold. If the input level reaches minus 15 dB, 5 dB below the threshold, the output will be minus 20 dB, 10 dB below the threshold. The gain change at the output is twice the gain change as the input. If we increase the ratio to 3 to 1, the level is affected even more. In this case, a minus 15 dB input gives us a minus 25 dB output. The gain change has gone from 5 dB at the input to 15 dB at the output. Increasing the ratio even more makes the reduced signal diagonal line more vertical in the graph. This will make level changes more abrupt to the point that we're almost cutting signals below a certain level. At a ratio of 10 to 1, a minus 15 dB input will give us a minus 50 dB output. So any expander with a fixed ratio of infinite to 1 is considered to be a gate or a noise gate. So signals above the threshold will pass unaffected by the gate. Any signals that are below the threshold will not show up at the output of the gate. Expanders are generally used for artistic purposes, but they can also be used to isolate microphones in live sound systems. They can reduce the signal envelope, making sounds shorter or make percussive sounds tighter. And we can also use them to reduce or eliminate low-level noises.